Hi lovely people this is a hard one but uh, Eliana Roosevelt knew what she was talking about her legacy one among many was to tell us the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility yet her life was far from an easy one her experiences led her also to tell us that you gain strength courage and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face you are able to say to yourself i live through this horror i can make the next thing that comes along so i'm able to relate to people in a new way not necessarily relate to people like i'm better than anybody else but relate to people in the sense of we are all on the same plane we are all on the same level and when we start to look at ourselves like that that's where a lot of the power is. Now, of course, that means also having confidence in ourselves because we must have a strong self-image. Because understand that when it comes to our self-image, it's a cybernetic mechanism, which means however we see ourselves will always act consistent. How others can make you feel? Perhaps the most frequent and psychologically damaging event we can experience is to have other people try to make us feel inferior to them parents teachers friends and our peers have enormous influence on our state of happiness if we let them we can feel good about ourselves and the careless disparaging or mocking words of someone else can change our state immediately for the worse if we let them the foundation of why we let others people affect our state of mind and heart lies in our willingness to forfeit our own life to theirs symbolically at least we worry so much about being accepted that we are often willing to pay a high price for that approval sometimes we are aware of doing this many times we are not until some events or crisis changes our perception in truth Our concern about what others think and feel towards us occupies way too much of our time. That kind of worry is like living a half life for the duration we spend immersed in it. It yields nothing for us except distractions. It solves no problem. It doesn't enhance our life or move us forward. Others have no power over us. If we were aliens come to earth to study the species how would we see this negative behavior in which our things spend time making others feel less important less significant less valued step back and imagine you are the observer not the participant it's about your positive mindset but that's a lot of responsibility to make sure you maintain your self esteem and happiness No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Feeling inferior isn't a result of there being anything inherently wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. Just accept this. Thank you so much.